Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Hope everyone out there is doing uh, well with all this uh, coronavirus going around and everyone staying safe and healthy. Uh, I know it's, for, it's been a tough couple weeks for me. Um, no one's sick or anything, but it's just really hard because you can't get out and ride. So, I thought I'd do a little video here. I got a few things I wanted to show you guys. A little unboxing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, for the uh, 2018 Honda Goldwing I have now. And the first thing I wanted to show you was I got, uh, I signed up for a subscription for uh, XM Radio, which the Goldwing can have. Um, so I bought a little uh, <coughs> antenna for Sirius XM, and apparently it's magnetic. So I'm not sure where I'm going to stick it yet. Um, as you, I don't know if you can see here, but I have a shad top box that I put on as well and there's a metal plate under here that uh, I think I could stick it to but I'm not sure yet if it's going to work or if it has to be facing a certain way but <clears throat> I know it'll stick to that for sure and uh, so I'm going to do an install of this hopefully in this same video but at the same time I do have a couple other things I wanted to bring out I purchased a Touring windscreen and uh, Healy bars for about 125 bucks from a guy in a uh, Honda Goldwing Club on Facebook. So he sent it to me. It arrived a few days ago, but I haven't opened it yet. I wanted to share this with you guys. See how it looks. So let's get this box open. Always exciting to get new stuff. So first we have. First we have the Healy box, the Healy bars, excuse me, Healy box, the Healy bars here uh, for 2018 Honda GL18, it's part number HR01139, in case you guys are interested, you can also look up on their website, I'm sure they have it listed there. Uh, oh good, he included the instructions, always helpful. And what else do we have here? Well, this looks like his order list, which I don't need. Right, the instructions look pretty, pretty well, uh, pretty thick here. Oh, it even has color pictures, which is really nice. Uh, now, there's a couple things I could do with this. Um, I know there's a template that I'm supposed to print out. I have the instructions printed out from, I think it's uh, wingstuff.com, and uh, I could print those out. There's a template that I need to use at one part of this, um, but I'm not sure how I'm going to cut it yet, because I don't have a band saw, I, I could get a coping saw, that might work, but, and a vise, and just hold it in the vise and then cut it. Let me see if I can find the, uh, the template here. Oh, looks like you already took it out. So, Alright, so I'll have to print that out. No problem. Let's see if I can just take a quick look here. I don't know how much I'm going to have to take off. Oh, it looks like this is the the quick guide where you don't have to take everything off because I know there's, with this bike, there's a ton of fairings, obviously, and, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff you'd have to take off, but it looks like I could just lift up the center console. Um, but we'll see when I get to that. Let me just show you what they look like. Bring it closer to the camera so you guys can see. So if you guys can see Ely bars, and it's labeled right. There's a right and a left one, so that's handy. <clears throat> so I'll do. I'll be doing instruction uh, installation video on that at some point. Just move over a little bit. Let's go. Okay. So the last thing I have here, which I will also do an installation video on at some point, since I'm going to be home, is uh, the touring windscreen. Here's the touring screen, just needs a little cleaning. It's definitely wider, wider than the other one. Let me see if I can, I'll move the camera back and see if I can get you guys in the picture and you see how it is. So it should be good. So you can see how short this one is. So this one's a lot taller. And it's got a recurve to it. So that's pretty cool. So that's pretty, pretty good. Right, 
I'll be right back. <coughs> Alright, so I'm back. Uh, my audio recording device shut off for some reason or other, so I just had to restart it. Um, okay, so let me clean this up and we'll get started on this. And I'll check back with you in a minute. Alright, so the first step in doing this installation for the Sirius XM is I gotta take off the seat, which involves opening the side panels up here, open up the, sorry, the side trunk on both sides, <coughs> and then we have to remove these side panels below because there's a nut on either side that we gotta remove. So let me take care of that, and I'll be right back. So I'm back, I have some Allen wrenches here, which I believe is what I need to get the seat removed. <coughs> so uh, first thing you gotta do is uh, I need my key, otherwise this won't open. Hang on, one more second. key because these are electronically locked and without this key it won't open. So let's do this. And that one. And the other side. Okay, so I should get some gloves on probably, don't you think? Yeah. Let me do that. Surgical gloves, as it were, on. Beautiful day outside. It's a shame I can't go riding now. This is a wasted day. Right. It should just pop right off. Obviously, I'll be doing it gently. is right in here, which you probably can't see. Uh, try and move you over here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Let's see if you guys can see that. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, so there's a bolt right under here I gotta take out on either side. So let me get to that and I'll switch over to the other side. Pays to try and have the right tool for the job. Well, we're going to try one of these. I don't know which size it is. It's too big. Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. There's a washer on the end of this, so I don't want to lose that. I'm going to put this in here, just to hold it for now. Uh, yeah. So I'll put it in here for now. Alright, let me get you to the other side. There we go. Right. 
hopefully you guys can see me and hear me at this point. If not, well, it's a learning experience for me too. See, and there's the battery. Right. This up here for now. Now I need my Allen wrench, which I left somewhere. And then I leave it. Ah, silly me. I left it in the trunk. Trying to get this thing out of here with the washer intact. There we go. Got the washer. I'll put that right there. These guys I'm going to put somewhere safe so they don't get ruined. You guys can see me. So the trick for this is I got to pull it up from this side, pull it up, and then pull it forward a little bit because the connection's all the way in the back here. So uh, let me move the camera over so you can just see a little bit better. Yeah, that should do it. First time doing it's always a little scary. There we go. There we go. Seat's off. Seat is off. Alright, so let me bring you in here a little bit. So right down here is where the XM radio satellite connects. So I just got to take that out and plug it back in. And then I guess we'll uh, test it out before we button everything up. <clears throat> I'll move to the other side so you guys can get a better view of what's going on. Tie. Okay. All right. Let me take this thing out. Oh, that was easy. I'll just plug this guy in. Supposedly. So that's in there. Let me bring you guys closer so you can see what it looks like. So right here is where it's connected right now. Right up here. So this plate right here is metal. And I'm wondering if I could just stick it in here and have it sit inside. I'll have to try it and see. connected now. No, that's not magnetic. But that is for sure. And you know what? I should go through the other way. Well, they give you a lot of wire in this. This thing I bought from Amazon for $15.
We can put this in there. Okay, so then I'm just going to leave it out here for now and uh, we'll see if we can get some uh, Sirius XM radio. I'm just going to raise you guys up. Oh, wrong one. See how you look there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Take these off for a second. Looks like I gotta resend the signal to the radio, so just give me a second. Ignition. Um, that said, um, you know, most present. Alright, well, the series is connected. Let me see if I can. Uh, we have two. Well, it does work. I got to figure out how to get the channels now. But there you go. The installation of the uh, Sirius XM uh, satellite is complete. I just need to figure out how to get to the channels now. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Alright guys, so it looks like it was successful. I had to update for a second there, but all the channels came up. So I'm just going to put all this back together. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next video where I install, it's either going to be this or the Healy bars. Probably this because this is a little easier, a little less involved. But uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Everyone stay safe and healthy. And uh, thanks for watching again.